Hello, in this new video of Panda Adaptive Defense 360 on our new management platform Ether, we'll show you how to isolate computers on demand. This feature is exclusively found in our endpoint detection and response solutions Panda Adaptive Defense and Panda Adaptive Defense 360. Why have we included the option to isolate computers? The main goal of isolating one or multiple computers is to prevent cyber threats from spreading across the IT network, as well as preventing the infiltration and exfiltration of confidential information, a growing problem nowadays. What happens when you isolate a computer? When a computer is isolated, its communications are restricted. This means that only those communications that are necessary for the computer to boot and communicate with Panda Security Services are allowed. Besides, in case third-party software is used for patching or to access and control remotely the endpoints, such as Panda Systems Management, administrators can configure isolated computers to connect also with that software, as an exception, in order to gather more information, deploy a patch, or take other actions. We will see this at the end of the video, and you will understand why it can be important. In our example, we will use TeamViewer to access a computer on the network, and we will copy and paste a file to our desktop. It is important to note that you cannot copy a file from one computer to another over the network if the target computer is isolated. This is to prevent malware from spreading across the network. Let's go back to the console in order to isolate one or more computers in the organization. Select the computer that you want to isolate. Select Isolate Computer and then click the Isolate button. That's it. The computer is now isolated. You can see that once the computer is isolated, it is not possible to copy a file to it over the network, and all outgoing communications are cut off as well. As previously said, only those communications that are necessary to boot the computer and connect to Panda Security servers are allowed in order to prevent infections from spreading. If you check the internet connection, you'll see that the computer doesn't have access to the internet. Next, we'll show you how to stop isolating a computer and what happens when doing so. As you can see, once the computer stops being isolated, the copy process resumes and the internet connection is re-established. With the advanced options feature, you can select programs that will be allowed to continue communicating as normal despite the computer being isolated. This is extremely useful if you need to perform operations with proprietary tools on the infected computers. For example, use a proprietary patch management tool to patch infected computers and fix vulnerabilities exploited by malware. In summary, having the ability to contain and resolve critical security issues in real time is essential for any organization. Being able to isolate one or multiple computers quickly and effectively is key in critical situations, such as the WannaCry or Pedia cyber attacks, as it allows organizations to contain infections and prevent them from spreading to other computers on the network. Contact us for more information on Panda Security's products or click the next video to learn more about Panda Adaptive Defense 360 and the Ether platform.